Hello everyone. Ice cubes are much colder than this normal water. When we put the ice cube in this water, the water doesn't freeze. The water becomes cold and the ice cube melts. Exactly. This is what has happened here. When a solid receives enough heat, it melts. The ice is melting, which means it is receiving heat and water is losing heat. Hence, it is becoming colder. Now, the water due to melted ice is still much colder than the other part of water in the glass. So, it receives heat from the other parts of the water. This process stops when the whole water in the glass attains the same temperature. This means the temperature of water due to melted ice is same as the temperature of the other parts of the water in the glass. So, when two bodies are kept in contact, the heat flows from the hotter to the colder body and this we know already. This transfer of heat continues until both the bodies attain the same degree of hotness or coolness, that is, they attain the same temperature. At this stage, we say the bodies have achieved thermal equilibrium. If you stay for an hour in a pond or a swimming pool, you would be fine. At first, you would feel cold as your body loses heat. But after some time, you feel neither cold nor hot. This means no heat is going in or out. So, your body and water is in thermal equilibrium. But when someone falls in icy water, people take him out as soon as possible. This is because there is a huge difference between the temperature of your body and the temperature of icy water. So, the body will lose huge amount of heat and that too very quickly. In fact, the body will lose so much of heat that it will stop functioning even before thermal equilibrium is achieved. Let us understand what happens here. The body is supplying heat to lots of water to increase its temperature, right? If we put a bowl of water on flame, it will get warm within a minute. Now, if you put a big pan or pot of water on flame, Will the water get equally warm as the water in the bowl in one minute? No. This means you need more heat to raise the temperature of more amount of water. So, when someone falls in icy water, his body loses heat fast as it is supplying heat to lots of water. But a large quantity of water needs lots and lots of heat for rising its temperature. This means the person's body would keep losing more and more heat and his body temperature would get closer and closer to the temperature of icy water to maintain thermal equilibrium. It may cause death if the person doesn't come out in short time. The temperature of lava is around 700 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Say the temperature of ocean water is 25 degrees Celsius. Now, it doesn't mean when lava meets the sea water, the thermal equilibrium would achieve at somewhere midpoint like 600 degrees Celsius. Why? This is because lava will completely cool down as lots of ocean water will take lots of heat out of it and that heat would spread because of movement of water. So thermal equilibrium will achieve at a temperature which is very close to the temperature of ocean water. How much hotter a body will get on receiving heat depends on many factors. We shall learn about that in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.